Hi everyone, this video is about Kali Linux versus Blackarch versus Parrot OS, and which one is best for hacking. My name is Jasmine, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro, fast. Let's start with Kali Linux, which is a powerful operating system that excels in penetration testing and ethical hacking. Its true strength lies in its pre-installed collection of security tools. These tools span various tasks like vulnerability scanning, password cracking, wireless network assessments, and more. Having them readily available saves ethical hackers time and effort. Built on top of the stable Debian Linux, Kali inherits its strengths like a solid foundation, extensive software repository, and a large community for support. Kali offers a high degree of customization, allowing ethical hackers to tailor the environment to their specific needs. The developers of Kali Linux frequently release updates for the pre-installed tools, ensuring they remain effective against ever-changing security threats and vulnerabilities in software. This is crucial for ethical hackers as new exploits and vulnerabilities are discovered all the time. Up-to-date tools guarantee that they can properly assess the security posture of a system. Unlike some commercial penetration testing tools, Kali Linux is completely free and open source. This makes it accessible to anyone interested in learning ethical hacking, regardless of their budget. The open source nature also fosters collaboration and knowledge sharing within the ethical hacking community. Developers can contribute to improving existing tools or create new ones, constantly expanding Kali's capabilities. Penetration testing is the ethical and legal practice of simulating cyber attacks to identify vulnerabilities in a system. Kali Linux is a favorite among penetration testers because it provides the tools to perform these simulations effectively. Kali Linux offers two main interface options, the command line and the graphical user interface, GUI. The command line, familiar to Linux users, is a text-based interface where you interact with the system by typing commands. This offers granular control but can be intimidating for beginners. The graphical user interface, a more approachable option for many, provides a desktop environment with windows, menus, and icons. Here you'll find tools categorized by function, making it easier to find what you need. Common elements include a taskbar at the bottom for launching applications and switching between them, a menu bar at the top for system functions, and customizable workspaces to organize your tasks. Overall, the graphical user interface provides a user-friendly experience while still offering access to the underlying power of the command line. Kali Linux, while powerful, isn't without limitations for ethical hackers. Beginners may find it challenging due to the complex interface and vast number of tools. Daily use can be limited by its security focus, and older machines might struggle with its resource demands. Moreover, some argue it can be bloated and have relatively high resource consumption, as compared to the other competitors. Next up, we have Black Arch, a lesser-known but powerful Linux distribution focused on offensive security. Built on Arch Linux, Black Arch offers an enormous repository of security tools with over 2,700 tools compared to Kaylee's pre-installed set. This means you can find highly specialized tools for specific hacking needs. This modularity lets you install only what you need, keeping the system lean. Black Arch Linux follows a rolling release model, meaning it provides continuous updates and the latest versions of software packages. This ensures that security professionals have access to the latest tools, features, and security updates without having to wait for major release cycles. Black Arch Linux supports multiple architectures, including x86-64, ARM, and ARM64, making it suitable for a wide range of hardware platforms, including desktops, laptops, servers, and embedded devices. Unlike Kaylee's all-inclusive approach, Black Arch functions as an overlay on Arch Linux. This means you install only the specific hacking tools you need, keeping your system leaner and more focused on your particular needs. Arch Linux is known for its rolling release model, which means you always have access to the latest versions of hacking tools. Black Arch leverages this, ensuring you're working with the most up-to-date exploits and security assessments. 
Arch Linux itself is known for its customization options, and BlackArch inherits this flexibility. You can build a highly personalized ethical hacking environment tailored to your workflow and preferred tools. Since you only install the tools you need, BlackArch can run smoothly even on older machines with fewer resources compared to Kali's comprehensive toolkit. BlackArch doesn't have a distinct interface of its own. Since it functions as an overlay on Arch Linux, the interface you experience depends on your choice during installation. Arch provides lightweight window managers like Openbox or i3 by default, offering a more user-friendly experience with windows, menus, and customizable workspaces. You can also install a more feature-rich desktop environment like GNOME or KDE if desired. Black Arch, while powerful, might not be ideal for everyone venturing into ethical hacking. Beginners might find it challenging due to its reliance on Arch Linux, which requires more technical knowledge to navigate compared to Kali. The lack of preloaded tools means you'll need to invest time researching and installing specific ones for each project. While customization is great, it can be overwhelming for those who simply want a ready-made ethical hacking toolkit. Black Arch is a great option for experienced hackers who value a lean and bleeding edge environment. But for beginners, Kali Linux might be a more approachable starting point. Last but not least, we have Parrot OS, a security-focused distribution based on Debian. Parrot OS aims to provide a comprehensive set of tools for various security tasks, including penetration testing, digital forensics, and privacy protection. A Debian-based distro, Parrot OS strikes a balance between Kali and BlackArch. Parrot OS comes loaded with over 900 penetration testing and security tools right out of the box. This saves ethical hackers significant time compared to installing and configuring them individually. Tools include password crackers, vulnerability scanners, web application security scanners, and exploitation tools. Ethical hackers often perform penetration testing on internal systems that might require anonymity. Parrot OS provides tools like Tor and anonymization configurations to enhance privacy while conducting security assessments. Pre-installed tools like Tor anonymize your internet traffic, making it difficult to track your browsing activity. Additionally, tools for anonymized messaging and encrypted communication can be valuable for ethical hackers who need to maintain confidentiality during engagements. Similar to Kali Linux, Parrot OS boasts a pre-installed arsenal of ethical hacking tools, saving you time searching and installing them individually. This includes tools for vulnerability assessment, penetration testing, password cracking, and more. It also includes popular programming languages and frameworks commonly used in security testing, allowing ethical hackers to create custom scripts and tools for specific needs. While not to the same extent as BlackArch, Parrot OS offers some level of customization. You can add additional tools specific to your needs or tweak the desktop environment for a more personalized experience. Parrot OS integrates anonymity tools out of the box, appealing to security-conscious users. This can be helpful for tasks like ethical hacking that might involve anonymized browsing or network traffic analysis. Further, it has a focus on user-friendliness and integrates well with Hack the Box, a popular platform for practicing penetration testing. It also includes popular programming languages and frameworks commonly used in security testing, allowing ethical hackers to create custom scripts and tools for specific needs. Parrot OS benefits from a growing and active community that provides support and resources for users. This can be valuable for troubleshooting any issues you encounter while using the operating system. Parrot OS offers a user-friendly interface that should feel familiar to anyone who has used a modern operating system. Built on Debian, it inherits a traditional desktop layout with a taskbar at the bottom for launching applications and switching between them. Menus at the top provide access to system functions and configuration options. Parrot OS comes with several pre-configured desktop environments to choose from during installation, including Mate, KDE, and GNOME. These offer varying degrees of visual appeal and customization options, but all provide a graphical user interface with windows, icons, and menus. This makes Parrot OS approachable for beginners who may find the command line daunting while still offering command line access for those who prefer it. While Parrot OS is a great ethical hacking platform, it does have some limitations. 
Compared to Kali Linux, the preloaded toolset might be less extensive, potentially requiring you to seek out additional tools for specific tasks. The user-friendly interface designed for beginners might lack some of the advanced features and granular control that experienced ethical hackers might find useful in Kali or Blackarch. In essence, Parrot OS prioritizes ease of use over offering the absolute bleeding-edge arsenal of tools. This trade-off makes it a strong option for beginners or those who value a user-friendly environment, but experienced hackers might prefer the wider selection and deeper customizability of other distributions. To further make it easy to decide which one is best here is the table that illustrates the differences between Kali Linux, Blackarch, and Parrot OS. Ultimately, the best choice depends on your experience level and needs. However, here's my verdict on which is best. If you're a beginner or a professional looking for a comprehensive set of hacking tools with excellent documentation and a large community, Kali Linux is likely the best choice. However, if you're an experienced hacker seeking a lightweight and modular distribution with cutting-edge tools, Blackarch might be a better fit. On the other hand, if you value privacy, anonymity, and a user-friendly interface alongside security tools, Parrot OS could be an attractive option. It's always a good idea to try out each distribution in a virtual environment or live USB before committing to one. That's it for today's video. I hope this comparison helped you understand the differences between Kali Linux, Blackarch, and Parrot OS. Let me know in the comments which distribution you prefer and why. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.